How do you classify rockets like the ones that you see here? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We get a lot of questions from our customers. They'll ask things like, uh, what's the highest that your rocket can fly? Or what's the biggest one that you sell? Or maybe sometimes like, what's the difference between a skill level two and a skill level three? Well, all of these are kind of trick questions. And really what it comes down to is that the customer wants to learn more about rocketry and they're curious because they want to raise their levels of skill to a higher level. And our job here at Apogee Components is to help people do that. So when they ask a question about like, what's the highest rocket that you sell? You have to take into the context that they're talking about. Because if they're already a level one certified flyer, they're not going to ask that question because they know how high you go depends on how much money you're willing to spend. But if you're not already high power certified, that question really is, what's the highest that I can fly without being certified? Or if it's about the size of the rocket, what's the biggest rocket I can fly without being certified? So here at Apogee, what we have to do is to take into account the context of the question. And so that really leads into what are the classifications of rockets. And a rocket can be classified in a number of ways. Even the same rocket can be in multiple classifications. So the first one is obviously size, how big the rocket is. You know, like this one right here is about 12 inches long. Um, this one back here, you know, it's more than six feet tall. So you got size, um, then you have the diameter of the rocket. Some are skinny, some are fat. You have the length, um, you have the price, how much money people are willing to afford. Um, then you have, you know, what the recovery system might be in the rocket. You know, like this one right here is a, gl is a glider. <laughs> um, and then over here we have a helicopter rocket. That's a different classification. Um, and then we have motor size, not only the size of the rocket, but the motor size. So here is, and you can't even see them all, but um, I have, you know, a 13 millimeter, an 18 millimeter, a 24 millimeter diameter, a 29. Um, we have a 29 composite. Uh, we have a 38 composite, 38 millimeter in diameter. And that's the diameter of the motor. Um, and then they're also classified as, um, low power, mid power, and high power. And, and when you talk about motors, that's kind of what we're talking about. Um, you know, you have this, your smaller motors like 13 and 18 millimeter diameter, that's low power. Um, your 24 millimeter and maybe some 29s are mid power. Um, and then you got your high power, uh, which are your 38s and bigger. So. Uh, so there's classifications by size as well. I'm looking at my list here. Um, we also have uh, different recovery types. I already mentioned uh, glider recovery and helicopter recovery like this one right here. Uh, there's also streamer recovery, parachute recovery, um, tumble recovery like this little small one right here which really doesn't have a recovery device in it. Um, and then we have rockets that are, you know, one stage like this one here, or a two stage right here, which has two different stages. Um, there's also cluster engine rockets, which is the difference between a single motor and multiple motors in the rocket that fire at the same time. Um, there's also parallel staging as a classification. Um, and then there's rockets that are uh, payload rockets. Like again, this one here has a little payload bay, which you can put something in it. Um, this one right here has a payload bay, which is designed for an egg. So we'd, we'd put an egg inside of that. 
Uh, this one also could be classified as a um, competition rocket. So there's sport rockets like these, which you do just for fun, just for the sport of it. Um, and then if you want to challenge yourself to do better, you might want to do a competition rocket like this one right here. Um, and there's also things like scale rockets. Um, you know, we have the sport rockets are just done for sport, but then there's things like this, which is a scale rocket of a, a real rocket that NASA actually flew into space. Um, this is an X-15. Um, so there are so many different ways to classify rockets, and there's also how hard the rocket is to build. You know, you have a simple rocket like this, which is really easy, so that's a skill level one. Um, and then you have something like this, which is like a skill level five, which is a lot harder to build. So there's a skill level one through a skill level five, which is how hard the rocket is to build. And there's also, when we're talking about levels, which is people often get confused of, is high power levels. Like there's level one, level two, and level three. And those are classifications for people that want to fly the big rockets like this here in the back uh, because you know it's kind of like a driver's license you know everybody can get a driver's license to fly the the or drive the small ones but if you want to drive an 18 wheeler truck that takes a different driver's license and so there's a high power certification process that if you want to fly the big ones you got to go through so there are a variety of ways to classify rockets. And let me take you to the Apogee website here, and I'll show you some ways, now that you know the different classifications, how you can find them on our website. So go here to the Shop menu and click on that, and it will bring up um, this menu. And you can see that there's a variety of classifications right here, like the skill levels, um, you have uh, cluster rockets, uh, fiberglass rockets, and that's, again, another classification is what material the rockets are made out of. Um, some, most of the rockets shown here are um, just paper and plastic, uh, but sometimes you can get into fiberglass or carbon fiber. Um, so there's more materials that you might use, and those are a different class as well. Then you have your glider rockets, helicopter rockets, high power rockets, uh, mid power rockets, multi multi stage rockets, uh, payload capable rockets. You know, like all the rockets that we sell that have a payload. And when you click on these, it will bring up a list of all the rockets that have that particular uh, classification. So these rockets are all payload capable. So they have a payload bay of some sort in them. But here's a special little. Uh, tool that we have on our rocket and we have it called a sortable list. So when you click on this, this is going to give you a lot of different classifications all in one little chart. Um, and it's a, um, a chart that you can manipulate. Um, so you can select the comparison columns right here. And these are the different things that you can sort this list by. Um, so sometimes you might have too much information and you want to take that away to make things simpler to find. Um, for example, you might want to turn off, is that in stock? Uh, what's the price? We don't want to see that. We want to see, um, let's say, recovery type. Um, so you would hit recovery and maybe you'll turn off all these other ones. And you can see that the list back here is resorting. So to get rid of this little menu right here, click back on the button select comparison columns and I'll take that away um, and now you can see that the list has been sorted um, and then we can resort again um, by clicking on the column header so if I want to say sort this list by rocket motor size I would click on the column header and then it resorts it and then we, it's from smallest to largest um, and so here are the 13 millimeters, and if I scroll down, you'll see 18. If I scroll down even further, way down, we sell so many motors and rocket kits. Um, here's the 24 millimeters in this area right here. So this sortable rocket list is a really good way to start to find the different classifications 
and to help out people when they're searching for a rocket. As I said, what people want to do when they're talking about classifications is they want to improve their skill level and try new things. And when you start talking about the different classifications, first you want to be able to find them, and then second, it also opens up opportunities for them to explore different areas of rocketry. So this was my discussion on the classification of rockets, and we can go in a lot deeper here on different subjects. For example, we do have a, a, a video on different rocket motor sizes and how to pick rocket motors based on the rocket kits. Um, so if you want more information, please come to the Apogee website. Our address is www.apogeerockets.com. My name again is Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.